What up? It's Jacob, and welcome back to my channel, Jacob Games. And, um, small problem with this upload. Um, the one that's, I think it's part 19 or 18. Um, I was recording a gameplay, and I ended up accidentally deleting it after I was through with everything and after I saved. So there was no way to get it back. Um... So basically what happened is John Morrison uh, told Morgan, uh, Arthur Morgan, the main character that we play as, uh, that he had a way of getting some more money. And basically what, he, what you do is you steal some sheep from these ranchers and you take them into Valentine. Well, once you get them into Valentine, the, uh, the auctioneer realizes that you're not really the rancher, but he says, if you cut me a deal, I won't say nothing. So you have to cut him a deal, and um, and you do that, and then John says we got to go see Dutch at the saloon. Well, we do. We go to the saloon, and you're talking to Dutch about different things, and Leviticus Cornwall shows up. And if you don't know, if you don't recognize that name, he's the guy who we stole the train from in the earlier videos, like part two or three. And he's also the guy that we stole the um, that oil tanker from to put in front of the train in the la in like this last video, I believe. So he found out we were hitting his spots, and he came into town, and we basically had our shoot away out shoot our way out of town. So what we're gonna do in this video is go to Dutch's mission and um, continue the story from there. I'm sorry about all that, and sorry about this long intro, but I needed to tell y'all that. So. Let's get started. All right, we're back where I last saved at, and we're right outside of Valentine. We're by the river's edge, and um, let me show you where I'm at. <clears throat> so I'm right here, and I have the like this huge bounty. Um, yeah, well, not huge, but sixty bucks. We had a big shootout here, like I said, and now we I have to get back to Dutch. But before I do that, I'm gonna run to the uh, I'm gonna run to the fence, and I will. Uh, I gotta buy a couple of things there, and then we'll get started. I'll see y'all. Basically, I'll just see y'all when I get back to Dutch. East. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find someplace sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, All Charles, right, Daddy. come on. <laughs> I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? All right. So, we in this mission now. Let's see what happens. I want my hat. Yeah. Check him out. Let's go, bro. Let's ride, fellas. Whoa. Let's ride. We have to, and fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good 
good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> All right, let's pick up the face, son. Got a deer or something back in there. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as rough. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah. They've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. I just ran over that animal. <laughs> Not me. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. What are we searching for? Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. All right. Oh, we got a dead person. He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Yeah. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started uh, it. <laughs> Alright, I need my, uh... I want my bow and arrow. Yeah, I'll take that, too. What is that? Oh, yeah. Give me the express damage. There we go. <clears throat> Load them up. <clears throat> but I'm gonna get the. Um, where's it at? There we go. You see there? Tent and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay. Well, let's have a look around and make sure. My honor's probably gonna go down. Yeah. <laughs> He didn't need that 93 cent or that health cure. Look at that gun, boy. That gun is shiny. Let's search around. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. I'm searching everything, y'all. I want everything they got. Ain't much here though. It's like I don't know, like they just ran off. Got the sweet corn. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. Ah. I ain't so sure about that. Grab him, bro. I don't have a pistol, I don't think. Search the crates. Oh, wow. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. Get 
fucking serious, bro. He said, are you okay? Oh, she's Dutch. It's German? German, I mean. No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. Come on, I now. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. All right, Charles, lead me to the promised land, bro. There, tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. So now we're on a rescue mission. <laughs> What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know oh. me as well as you think you do. Wait a second, <coughs> just want to look closer here. What's happening, bro? What's happening? Looks like they go down this way. I don't know what he's saying, but I trust him. <laughs> so I don't have a clue. What happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch yet. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Think this is the right way. Give me a second. Hey there! Sorry, Charlie. Sorry I'm so quiet. I just want to make sure, you know, everything is all good. Continues along the shore fish, here. Man. Hold on, bro. You don't see that big old fish right there? Gotta now, use this to... As I was saying, bastards told me they killed Mac. Set it right in front of Jack. That kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Charles, where you going, bro? <laughs> We're running out of land here. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good What are you one. doing? Careful. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. But Jack, hold up. Let me check this. One second. All right. Come on, Charles. Show me the way. Oh, my God, these dogs were... <laughs> They carry on along this trail. What was I talking about? Oh, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago. He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Easy. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. You gotta be careful, bro. Hold! Real good, man, girl. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. Oh, there's a guy. This looks like our fella, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Watch out, Charles. 
Come on, before someone comes back. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Oh. Oh, it's a trap. <laughs> you dead. Shoot him! What I want to do, I don't understand. Search him though. I thought you wanted to get this over with, Arthur. I do, bro. Just calm down. Let me loot these people and we will. They don't need this 63 cents where they going. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Let's go get this guy. He looks in some pain there. What else is in here? Look at that knife. Give me that knife. Take the corn. Take him, bro. Cut him free. Let's get him back to his family. Yeah, no problem. Okay, getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Come on, brother. Let's let's get you back home. There we go. Take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Brother, I don't know what you're saying, bro. No, none of us know what you're saying. Oh my gosh, these dogs are just getting on my nerves. And back home everybody hope y'all doing good today sorry about the big gap in the story i wish i could have seen that mission there was a lot of shooting and stuff Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you best. do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there why did they take you? Geld? Money? Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen oh. How did someone even come up with them words? <laughs> sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try not to make that mistake again. Deleting uh, save data and all that or recordings. It's, I mean, it happens, but it's, it's annoying when it does happen. Get this man back over there quick. Horse is kind of dirty. I gotta, gotta clean her off. <coughs> All right, we're getting close now. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Ah, oh. Andreas! Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! <laughs> Beinahe wär's so gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here, this place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Bam alles klar. Bam uh, <lacht> ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Wow. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Wow, he gave you a gold ball. 
That was cool. Got five hundred dollar gold bar for that. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Pretty nice, I like it. Oh, we on chapter three now. Clemens Point. We've been playing this game a while, and I just now got to chapter three. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. There's a lot to this game. A few days later. Strange kindness. You get five headshots. I missed it. <laughs> and I didn't get them there quick enough. Alright, let's do, uh... Let's, um... Man, this is cool, huh? Let's do a chore real quick. A couple of chores, and then we'll start the next mission. I will see y'all in a few. Ending up down here. My daddy died in the field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. It's full of fish, y'all. I like this new camp better than the other one, I think. I like that big oak tree. He's still listening to that terrible music. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? <laughs> hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long. Always green crushing and bubble bursting you. Come on. Jose. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Come on, horsey. Let me show you how it's done. All right, let's go. This thick, thick woods over here. Let's ride, fellas. There we go. Why don't we just fish here? It's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country. Sorry, I was Betsy. trying to fool my phone. But feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought. Oh, look especially at this both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. 
Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Calm down. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dex, now give me one second, we've please. We've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Play it cool. Play it cool. I am cool, Dutch. I'm the definition of cool. myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back here. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> what are we doing? How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. <laughs> I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Uh-oh. Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up Come for. Come on, Archie. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. No problem, buddy. I'm going to chase it. We need them Anderson boys alive. Boy, Come this on, is just hurry. like All right. freaking on, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, dude. Relax, we're not losing them. All you had to do was follow the train, Arthur. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Uh, looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Ah! You all are a goddamn joke. Ah! <laughs> oh! Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. Now what you Train's want me to do? Down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Yeah. Right alongside. Yeah. All right. No. Nope. Hurry. We're... Get alongside it. I'm trying, bro. Get alongside that flat carriage. All right. All you think right. you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. <laughs> now he's throwing. I'm on it. Oh, you got kicked so hard, bro. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Oh, we chasing him. Come on with it, bro. Dude, don't worry about it. Come on, Arthur. Get up there, bro. Come on. Like we always do. Don't worry, I'm coming for you, bro. Come on, Mr. Callahan, I'm relying on you. Bastard. Oh! Damn, bastard. Boom! Get the hell away from me. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Gonna be dead soon, partner. Boom! Oh, 
Boom! Stuff I could take on here. Oh, let's go. Come here. We need to bother. Let me go. Can't do that. Too ain't much of a fighter. Oh my God. Well, he's trying to kill me, brother. Up, Arthur. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Just Hello? like that. Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Looting. They whooped me up pretty good. Like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? We'll take him in. Come on. We gotta take Fine this fool job. in now. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Yeah, Load whatever. Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. I know how it works, knucklehead. There you go. You are a natural. Let me clean my horse first, bro. Let's go then. My heart is more important than you, okay? You just calm down. Let me do it one more time. I want to make sure my horse is Come completely on, clean let's get out of here. and taken care of. Here, eat something. Eat something, horsey. Come on. Good girl. All right, we can go All right, now. let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. <laughs> Sounds like quite the place you got here. Yeah, I think my man on his horse is dead, bro. We're gonna bear left here. Well, I'm a deer right. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. Well, we, we, I don't plan on causing trouble in roads, okay, Dutch? Don't worry about me. But if he don't say much else in a oh. few, I'm going I'm to cut it till we get to town. I think Here we made we it to are. town. Welcome to Rhodes. <laughs> Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Looks nice. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Yeah, no problem, bro. I got you. I'm going to do all the hard work. Don't worry about it. And the horse doo dude right here on camera. Can get him in a cell. That's nasty. Just bring him here. Hey, fellas. 
Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a <laughs> real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. <laughs> uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rooms. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I uh -oh. can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one it's comes windy. looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out. Rebel gold, marrying cousins, or not marrying Arthur. That's it. Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents of some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these brake weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. <laughs> There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, let's go fishing, bruh. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. <laughs> well, was the four horse? That's pretty cool. There's one. Oh, there's my girl. Yeah, you the big thick one, girl. Yes, indeed. You the most beautiful horse there he is. You might be the slowest, but you the most beautiful. Come on with it. I'm gonna follow him. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still. And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. You got everything. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching crows, <coughs> Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something. But his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What it happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. <laughs> John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. 
We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I like the dialogue in this game. I like that they just ride and talk. And if I'd have declined it, you know, we wouldn't have had none of this. So, pretty cool. So, what Trelawney said about those bounty hunters? What do you think? told you. I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Alright, cool. Look how pretty this game is, man. It's, it's magnificent. I love it, dude. It's cool how they kind of explain what happened in Valentine uh, on this little journey we just took. To this, I saw um, some boats around last here. time. Be good to get to deeper water. Let's yes, over there do. on the shore. Oh, cool. I'm getting a boat now. I guess that's what we're doing. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right, I'm excited about this. No, nope, my bad. My bad, homie. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <coughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. Oh. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for... Good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Keep going. Oh wow, there's a big fish that just jumped. There we go. Come on, I'll to use them on, baby. Get us out here. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. All right. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Oh, man. Too much concentration. Got a bite. There we go. Damn it, I lost him. You got a bite there, Arthur. I got him. Fish on the line, Arthur. Got him. Okay, that was a bite. There, hooked him. Okay, come on. Come on. He's getting tired. Something's He's nibbling. getting there. Got one. Shit. Got away. Come on. Come on with it. Come on with it. This should be the one. 
This will be the one right here. Hey. Hey. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fellow told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, oh, just southwest cool. of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. What are we gonna do it one more time? You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you do. He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Got real there we go. Arthur. There we go. We got a good one now. I used to go Get fishing with this fella back in the Get day. Man. Wesley, his name was. Come on. Real miserable bastard, but Come he on. loved to fish. We go out all the time. Oh, cool. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession oh, going over bass. the bridge. All right. Out of the blue, gonna keep this Wesley one. stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Ha, what is that ya. swimming right there? Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Kafka went and scoffed the lot. You never had Come control on. of that dog. I don't know why uh, he looked like he's going so slow. Spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater oh, wow. was the furthest east we'd ever been. As a group, I mean. Still like the we trout. Rainbow up. trout. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. Too. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime Oops. soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. What is that orange thing out there swimming? Is that a fish Did or like I a snake? Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she Come was on. still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her oh, again. these stupid dogs bark too much. She and I didn't always Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> see eye to eye. I wasn't always a fighting. very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, <laughs> I loved her in my own way. And it's she a large amount of bass. <laughs> Somehow, even from yep, the grave. sure is. She managed to have the last laugh. I think we've pretty much caught everything we can, huh? Hey, I reckon we call it a day. Fella. Yeah, we gonna call Already? it a day. You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right, think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could oh, be useful. Cool. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. I like doing uh, that. Okay. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me something. Oh my. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. <laughs> I 
couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears got burned and so did I. <laughs> you idiots, bro. That was, that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round, around, around. To them we dance this round, around, around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground, around, 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 Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks bet. <laughs> Bro, I'm my arms are tired. Look at my stamina. Well, we home now. Let's go. Cool. All right. I think I. Well, I mean we. You're gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. All right, I'm gonna end it right here. I am going to take in the view. And uh, I'll give these fish to Pearson. Man, that was fun. That was really, really fun. You know, I, think I, heard <clears throat> I enjoyed that a whole lot. Without taking a hit, yeah, I got a hit. Whatever. So we caught a fish with them and stuff, and uh, we moved to this new place. It's really beautiful. Just like, I mean, this game is just awesome. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and end it right here. Thank y'all for watching. God bless y'all. I'm out.